Welcome back to the third part of Live Life is Strange Before the Storm. Country? <gasps> You're sick? This is Max, isn't it? I don't, I've seen this bit. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight on the gap. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerkwad. This... this isn't right. Huh? What is this doing here? If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. Oh. Why is she not sat in the front? Is she too young, maybe? Uh, she looks pretty old to me. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. I don't, I don't remember it happening like that. I guess it did though, but wow. I really hope I haven't missed any spray painting bit. Graffiti thingy. Picking up my groceries hey. from the grocery the store. Hell? Out of the car, Chloe. Oh, You're gonna be late. wow. Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. Wow. I'll warn everything. That was nice. I said thanks. Yeah. Mm. Great. Hello, Black Hell. Hello, Black Hell. Whatever. Hello, this place. Good luck, seniors. Not quite there yet. Future needs excellence. Jeremiah Blackwell. Hey, is that, uh, Warren? I doubt it. Why is this place so dead? <gasps> it's my boyfriend. Is it? No. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. No, this Wait, is... Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true, then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, uh, do you wanna go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to, but sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Who are you? Like you weren't in the sec in the other game, were are you? I don't remember this. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Oh, who the heck is this? Hey, I'm at the picnic tables with Mikey. Thanks on my way. Who are you? Skip. Hey, Skip. Oh, his name is Skip. I thought he was like, Skip is in Dodo. Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah. Right. Whatever. 
I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Bad ass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors... Ugh, yeah. Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. Uh-huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait. You saw Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in You're a an band, security actually. Guy. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but... It's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great! What, right now? We are the strange name band, yeah. We are the strange name band, yeah. We are the strange name band, yeah. So, what did you think? Rubbish. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right I on. mean, I couldn't hear it, awesome, so I have no Chloe, opinion thanks. about it. It might have been the worst thing I've ever heard, but still. Miss Miss Grant. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry like class begins like today. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, they have. which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Oh. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self-absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate, as always. The future needs excellence. The future's an asshole. Victoria? <gasps> Victoria! Ugh. I remember you. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor... Carrie Price. Carrie? It's Chloe. Oh, I remember right. you. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award Is for my photography. Is this before you became an actor? You don't say. Two? Between that and the Vortex Club, oh, it's hard to keep people Club. from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? You hang with the Vortex Club? I mean, I'm technically not a member, but I am being courted. I'm not sure The club I... should be a collection of Blackwell elites, but instead, it's some anti-bullying, hand-holding kumbaya shit. 
Not when I'm a senior. Wow, the Young Artist Award. Oh, it's not a big deal or anything. Like, a hundred people submitted work, and my photography won. Congrats, I guess. Wow. So the beacon's putting me up on the front page of the lifestyle section. Who cares? Wait, what about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. Tell what, Victoria? It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook. I, I mean, They're that basically to use means Facebook? you and Rachel are like BFFs. I mean, They're like, really not. Uh, so GTA what's she into? You know, invader. what's her thing? You know what I mean? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. I'm surprised they you used know? product placement. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was... Fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and, uh... Uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. You should have got my name right. You deserve that. I don't like you. I've never liked you. <laughs> so stupid. Who's this? Wait, Samantha? I don't know this person. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. Who's for you? What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I know that book. I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. You're what the you extremely like shy type. Uh, it's sad. Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. What? I bet. You are odd. But there's like a thousand million people like you in the world, so... Hmm. Damn, girl. That this is so... Sick. I'm sorry this is taking so What's long. I, I want to get around to everything. Dude! You need to freshen like a mofo. Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. So this Word. is that guy. Well, good looking out, Price. Want to hit? Like, right here? <laughs> Thanks. Chloe! What's the latest? Chloe. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while Jeez, back. Old man, you need I was failing algebra back. hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, oh, no shit. I thought that place was like, math central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Poor All right. Guy. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Word. <laughs> huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage.
How am I supposed to get to that box? I should probably be. I wonder if he. Ooh. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? No, it's I'm, purple. Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any Prince issue. Wells was I'm good. Nice, it's the other guy who needed a safe space from me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Hmm. They're both nasty things, right? How many minor infractions and a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Thank God for Justin. Or I'd be royally screwed right now. Hmm. You don't smell like marijuana smoke. But I know you students have ways of masking your use. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. I, I'm not into All right, things. sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. I, I don't that guy's a tool. like I should be doing these, but I'm <laughs> I'm not brave enough for it. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I am. Um, winning while doping isn't winning at all. It's a quick trip to the deep end of failure. Strong, interestingly confused. Oh, hey. Yes. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, Principal Wells. Yeah. But fire's so pretty. But fire's so pretty. But, fi but fire's Stop it. I'm so trying to pretty. This one. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, Evan's work is actually pretty good. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Oh, it's Good you. morning to you too, Evan. Maybe. According to the Department no way. of Forestry, no way. over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. Oh, I That's thought that a record was high and completely preventable. Here is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob cone again. No. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. Why would he not? My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. 
I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. <laughs> wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Wow. I'm the only one that took it seriously. <laughs> what? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. I sort of remember skill you. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. Dungeons and Dragons. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Now that is a creature I wouldn't want to fight. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? I've got to get to class early. What the hell? Game on, nerds. I told you Here's I could a be a good sheet. boring person. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> nice. I could totally see myself as an elf barbarian. I know. I'm good. All right. Let's get started. You were both famous heroes oh, what in the I kingdom of Avalon, I don't want to do this. A once peaceful land, now laid Why does every by game have dungeons and dragons in it? The Black well, is it really that popular? Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, I mean, in this country, I've never, like, As you rarely ever heard of it or played it or and weary, You see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you cool story, and greet bro. <laughs> I am Elama, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor I thought it was to King Tiberius, Why have you got and a sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named. Uh. Calamastia. Cool name. Super into it. Not On bad. Arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's Acid Blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell. Can we like speed the this up a little bit, please? Their bones like warm candle we don't wax. need all these words. Holy Just move shit. On. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All your different game. I knee him. Right in the orc balls. Success. The orc Wait, her hand is just magically changed. Never to follow When did she change her hand? Again. Ouch. Your turn again, Chloe. I do a pommel strike. I strike his pommel hard. 
<laughs> um, what did I say? A pommel is the end of a sword handle. Pommel strike is where you hit the guy with it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I do that. Except you're not wielding a sword, you're wielding an axe. This sucks. It's all right. Try using your- You've delayed too long. The orc swings his war hammer at your head, barely missing your move. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great See, axe her downward hands with both to get hands. The, chemistry class. the orc used to blinks say and splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. Guy? This. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! <laughs> the dragonkin <laughs> hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Hmm. Okay. I want to try this. Intimidate. First. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common, which means he I can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Now he can understand every word you say. Oh, wow. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragon kin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass into your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like <laughs> Neither do I. The dragon can plead with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. The uh, dragon can cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Very Here's good. what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your bones. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. That way, the next time some <laughs> ass refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? Uh, wow. That was nuts. I'm going to give you a plus 10 bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands trembling, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. The approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. Stomp. It's stomp. actually shaking. This control. is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with... This is crazy. How Shit! Well oh, going on. no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? 
I take one last swing at Durg... Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Oh, no. Hmm. Eleven. You swing catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. But you don't do enough damage to kill him. What an asshole! He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. So wow. mean. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. <sighs> cool. Sorry I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him. Eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. Sweet. <laughs> we'll see. But I don't want to ever do this again. It took far too long. Thanks for the game, nerds. I may include this in the video, I may not, because that was a long... BBD, check. Next stop, uh, chemistry so class. Bad, I think Rachel's gonna appear. Oh no, it's him. What the hell? Wait, that's what not him. What have you got here? I don't know who that Twitch. is. Twitch. Don't call me that. <gasps> it True is North. him, it's Prescott. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Did he become one back. of you guys? I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Since when was I a mute? Whoa, you really gonna punch whoa. up a girl? You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Ooh. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Do you really care about Nathan? You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. Nathan's a little weak. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. What do you want me to do? Just stand there watching. Okay, let's be The with only this. way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Drew? Never Back heard off, of Drew. Idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? Don't be scared. <laughs> You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? How about picking on someone your own size? Which I hear is pretty small. You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. When Nathan goes crying to Lord Prescott, everybody here will be stuck doing sensitivity seminars all week. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. You think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? Think? That's a fancy word for you, Drew. Careful with it. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. Oh. You shut the fuck up. Go, Samantha. If we were guys, we'd probably be. Guess you got lucky that. this time, Prescott. Just saying. Had two girls show up to save you. 
Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I, I do need not help like it. From you? You're welcome. Are you all right? We end up becoming friends in some ends. Thanks for sticking Something. up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. I was just verbally abusing someone. Oh god, what now? There will be consequences. Glad we tied. D -d 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 I know you're doing your best. Love you. Can I reply to this? That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Rachel, you look great. Oh, good. You're here. Why are you dressed like Snow White? I'm gonna make a fourth part of this. I don't know. Maybe. Bye. Whatever.